look how much cleaner that looks already. So it's still dirty, it's still got all you know leaves and crap and rust and whatnot. So we'll have to clean that up, but it's already so much better. And without the wires there, it'll just look much, much better. So once all that's gone, there'll be a lot more space in here. I'm not sure where I'll relocate the MSD box. Might end up having to stay there, or I might put it inside the, the driver's cab, maybe under the dash or something. Alright, continue on with that back corner. So this here, that's the plug for this. Can you see that? Yeah. So that's the plug for this. This is the idle air controller. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a it's a General Motors unit off a off a Holden, probably a Commodore. Now what this does is it pumps in a little bit of extra air to keep the idle going. Uh, it adjusts the idle because it's all fuel injected. So your, your butterfly is closed, and when it's idling and it's cold, this thing will be spoken to by the computer, and it'll put in a bit of extra air, or it'll not let as much air in, or whatever. So it controls the amount of air being put into the plenum to stop you from stalling. And this wasn't even hooked up. I mean, the wires were touching, but they've got corrosion on them. And the other end, They've just been cut off. So no wonder it was hard to start. I'm trying to pull this red wire up because uh, I believe it's part of the security system which is no longer on the car. You see it's just been drilled right through that grommet so it's not part of the original wiring and it doesn't look like it anyway, it's way too thick. Um, so follow that down, nice and easy to see because it's red. And it goes down and joins up with this bunch of wires here which seem like they don't serve a purpose anymore because they've been cut off. But within the sheath that they all run in is that wire. And some of the other wires in that sheath head straight down to the starter motor, which is sort of where my finger's pointing, down there. This is the steering column and behind that is the starter motor. Yeah, all right. What I might do to give us a bit more room, I might get rid of this as part of the air intake for the uh, climate control, and get rid of this, which is the alarm, the the horn for the alarm, the siren. So I'll rip them out, and then we'll uh, keep going.
no rust. It's very dirty, but not even surface rust. I mean, that's really good because you tend to get water pooling around in here. So this firewall is probably going to be in really good condition. Uh, we'll find out for sure when we pull it off, but from this side it looks really good. Happy days. So I got that air tube out um, and I pulled the uh, alarm or the siren out for the alarm as well. There's a lot more room to work with. You can see all the, the wires still going through. So what I'd like to do is replace this path of all these wires, take them out of that hole, run them through the inner door and along the guard between the inner and outer guards. Um, and I don't like this, someone's drilled a hole through this grommet and that's for the original wiring worm so I'll probably remove that grommet altogether um, but I do want to see what these wires are for because it's odd that a single wire would come through there and then be integrated into the loom like that and this one here we figured out was going down to the starter along with these ones that have been cut off and that one there had a tag on it that's been cut off and wrapped up and it said twelve volt permanent. Oh, not anymore. All right, here we are. Another day, another beer. This one's an English bitter. Mm. Perfect for this kind of weather. Um, now we've finished uh, taking all the wires out of the engine bay. We've got them hanging over the guards. I've gone and bought myself a bunch of uh, cable joiners. These are the type that you crimp on both sides. Um, I've got some terminals there so we can replace all those dodgy earths. I've got some sheathing, new stuff because the old stuff was all uh, broken up. And I've got cable here, a wire. Now this is five core cable for a trailer and this is the cheapest way to buy different color uh, multi-core cable. So you can buy all these different colors individually but um, this is Five core cable, six meters, so that's 30 meters of different color cable. And that is a lot cheaper than buying 30 meters of the single uh, wires. Yeah. I bought this at Bunnings, um, Nava, pretty, pretty common brand in Australia. You can get any brand you want. Um, they're all rated to a, a certain specification. Um, there's the Australian standard down there. And uh, online you'll probably find them a bit cheaper. Um, what else have I got? I've got uh, electrical uh, tape that's just for uh, taping up the um, joins in the uh, cables and we've got some glands to put in the uh, in the firewall and in the inner guards now you can use these instead of grommets um, I just got these because they were there they're pretty sturdy there's nothing wrong with grommets both of them you just got to drill a hole and pop them in so what we'll do uh, we'll continue stripping these cables off the other side and we'll start separating this side into what goes to the headlights and the indicators um, and what goes to the engine loom. The engine loom side of things I'll probably keep in that uh, grommet and run it down to the engine and everything else we will probably put a hole somewhere along here um, put one of those cable glands in and that'll be hidden from the inside as well. I think there's actually an access panel that goes into this section here that's hollow and I think we can get to it from the inside. So that might be a nice neat way of doing it. Bring the cable up here and run it along there, down under here and we'll put our uh, terminals and our relays and all that inside there out of the rain.
will just go straight underneath the intake and ends up down here bolted to the uh, the inner guard there so that's just an earth so I'm going to unbolt that that shouldn't be too hard to put back that's the engine earth so that goes straight to the block we'll just leave that there and this here is the looks like the main loom earth so that must be the loom for the fuel injection side of things because um, it's attached to the MSD box and then it goes on to the injectors and all the engine side so I'll put that over there I'll put the uh, bolt back in its hole so we don't lose it might actually put it through the engine earth just so that we don't forget to put that one in there we go, and then when I tighten everything up, I will clean that up with a bit of uh, sandpaper just to make sure it's got a good connection and probably wire wheel the bolt. Alright, so moving on, we've got all that wiring still to go. So you've got the relays and all the fuses for the fuel injection. Um, and they all come out of that grommet there on that side. So what I might see if I can do is split the loom up and have part of it coming out this side. Um, that can be the battery side, and then on the other side, I'll have the injector stuff. Um, or I might all have it coming out here. I'll see what the best option is once I've got it laid out. This is this very heavy cable uh, the battery's been relocated to the boot so that's the battery cable um, and that must go into the the driver's cab there on the passenger side and under the carpet all the way through to the boot space and then over here you've got a junction box and everything coming off here is, uh, is positive 12 volt positive um, so that will probably have to stay there because just over here um, is our rectifier off the alternator um, and you want to have that pretty close to the alternator so we'll see but we might move this stuff to the inside of the inner guard um, but we might leave it here we'll see we'll see what's easy and what looks good um, but one thing I suspect is that this cable here which has got a fuse and, uh, and this I'm not quite sure what that is it might be like a rectifier or something like that um, I'll try and find out but I'm pretty sure that's part of the old stereo system because that looks like the sort of wiring you'd use for yeah there you go audio audio power wire so this I should be able to trace back through the hole and uh, get rid of altogether <laughs> Isolated the original wiring loom for the headlights from the fuel injection side of things. So now we can unclip all of the uh, headlights, which will be down here behind the air filter. We'll have an indicator, parking lights, headlight. I'll unclip all them, and then this loom here we can 
hang over the side just like we've done on the other side.